Record in progress, dude. <laughs> How are you, man? Brother Noah. I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty Noah. good. What about you? Good. So I skipped the workout today. Well, not really skipped I have, it. I did too. Okay, well, I worked out early in the morning, and then I was going to work out yeah. again, but then I didn't because I ended up cuddling my dog. But I started taking this pre-workout, and I don't know. Did, you, did I give you this to try? No, I think you gave me a couple of options, and I did not go with that one. Is that the mushroom no, one? This is the mushroom one, dude. And uh, I did half a scoop. I mean, I didn't really get a chance to read it. it. I just know that it has 200 milligrams of caffeine, and it doesn't have any, like, beta alanine. So it's yeah. kind of like a good little pick-me-up. You know, in the past, I would do this um, supplement called Amino Energy, which is basically yeah. BCAs with uh, caffeine in it. Um, uh-huh. that's like for like my second workout of the day, but yeah, man, I'm feeling pretty good, dude. I, uh, I mean, I've been up early, so this is definitely yeah. going to pick me up, but I, I need something like that. I need a, a good pre-workout or something in the morning to give me a boost that doesn't have, you know, the beta alan because the tingles, you know, carry. You don't like the while. tingles in. I like the tingles, but if it's something that I want to take and then it's going to be a shorter workout and I'm going to like go on to work or something, I can't deal with the tingles. Okay. Yeah, yeah so something like well, that probably, but does that taste weird? Um, do you like mushrooms? Do you like mushrooms? Hmm? Do you like mushrooms? I like mushrooms, yeah. Yeah. Do you like um dude? I don't know how to explain it, man. Have you ever taken taken any type of like testosterone booster in powder form? No, I, well, one time I tried it, but it was like one of those crappy Walgreens ones, and it was in a pill form. Okay, okay, yeah. So the the powder is typically like your pre workouts have like a white or a clear powder or like a light it color. Don't say it's brown. You're gonna say it's brown. Don't it's you? brown, dude. This <laughs> shit is dooky brown, bro. So it it's it definitely has that um as like a chalky taste, but it's like a creamy chalky type of you know mushroom flavor yeah. at first I, I didn't fucking like it like kind of grosses me out like mushrooms typically gross me out but i just kind of got used to it man i got used to it to be honest i actually tried it with the black water yeah it wasn't yeah bad. yeah uh, it wasn't double, bad. double brown I, yeah dude but it wasn't bad but it, i i think i think it's so this one dude I, when i take a pre-workout and if i'm fucking tired i feel like i just had some juice some like awkward tasting juice, you know, and yeah. I feel like I, I just it's need just, a little bit more hmm. and a little bit more, dude. It's weird to associate caffeine with something that's not that's like not going to be sweet, because like I always associate caffeine with like sodas or energy drinks or pre workouts or candies or something like that. And it's like it's like eating a pie and getting caffeine. It's like you're not going to expect that. That's true. That's like, well, you know, back in the day, dude, uh, pre-workouts used to say like shit, like complete garbage. It was like, yeah, it would taste like almost like burnt plastic with a little bit of yeah. lime on top of it. Yeah, dude, it was or or like or like paint or some shit with a little bit of lime on <laughs> it. You know, to give it like that sour yeah. flavor, maybe a little bit of salt. Yeah. It was fucking gross, man. And I I think back when I first started working out, and you know, one of the first workouts I ever tried is Jack 3D, the original formula. Yeah. And oh, you actually got some of that? I wanted that. Dude, yeah, bro. I mean, yeah, it was the shit, homie. I'm not even gonna lie, dude. It was cool, bro. And and then now that I know like how fucked it was. It just makes me like be grateful, you know, that I was introduced at the right time. Cause as soon as it came out, or as soon as th- that news came out, it'll spool off the shelves and all military bases. Um, you couldn't get it again, dude. You know, you couldn't get it yeah. again. And um, I don't know, it's like a part of history, you know. You just had to be there, dude. It's you, you weird. Just had to it's be like there. I don't know. It's like oh, it's hard to explain. It's like prohibition now. This yeah like yeah i saw i saw some uh someone on ebay had it listed but there's no way of telling dude 
You know, there's no other talent. The real real deal. Yeah. Plus, you know, it's going to be expired anyway. But, you know, in, in something like that, it's not going to be expired in the way that it would hurt you. It'd be the expired in the way that's going to be less potent. Oh, uh, dude, you know what yeah. someone told me? And I forgot to tell you last time, but someone commented how oh, fucking smart you are. <laughs> yeah, dude. And I was like, I know. Okay. That's why I was like. That's what's up, dude. No, because you so you definitely um, knew more than I expected that you knew about pre-workouts. Yeah. And yeah. What kind of what drove that curious that initial curiosity? Oh, I just like knowing what goes in my uh, body because you know, back to that first time, you know, I like bullshit and just keep talking and talking and talking. Yeah. But it's it's interesting because like a lot of people say that. A lot of people say uh you know in the cannabis industry for example when i was in the when i was in the space i work with some people that were in it and then they would have this saying that i want to know where the fuck my, whatever if i'm gonna put anything in my body i want to know exactly where it's coming from yeah. that was kind of like their their thing and and me you know because i drink pre-workout like i just told you mm -hmm. earlier i didn't read this you know <laughs> but i'm definitely sipping on it and yeah. I, uh, I, I will hear them say this shit, but then they'll be eating like a Del Taco fucking burrito or they'll be sipping yeah. on like some some gas station beer, dude, like some butt like Clamato, Bloody Mary slash margarita yeah. with a little bit of energy in it. Those canned like, margaritas are disgusting. Dude, yeah, and you there's no way, berries. there's no way that you give a fuck about your body if you drink that shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because, but the thing is, like, it, it takes reading and finding out and, like, literally mm -hmm. doing research, like, science yeah. research on shit, and it's, like, not that fun, dude. But it's, like, it's this is the type of thing where you could learn it about one pre workout and apply it to all, because, you know, everything's going to be brought down the main ingredients and most of them are transferable. It's just a couple of things missing or a couple extra things added. But nowadays, yeah. I guess you're right. It's, it's even it's kind of just hard to know what's in it, especially since, you know, the, uh, the proprietary blend just kills the whole basis of knowledge. Yeah. And, but also it's, it's like a shitty marketing idea because there's some products that like, that's their marketing scheme. They're like completely transparent. Well, then yeah. you're not really like, I don't know, bro. It's like a double-edged sword, you know? When when you do proprietary, you're like, come on, bro. Tell me everything that's in there. I want to know. <laughs> but then in their mind, they're like, well, like I spent all this fucking time and energy formulating something that if I kind of feel cheated, if my competitor literally looks at it and orders the same shit and those are the exact same shit that I, that I did and slaps a label and sells it for half the price, you know, yeah. because the quality of the ingredients is not that, is, is not there. Versus then like not knowing what the fuck you're putting into your body you know versus like or, or exposing your whole formula and then it's like okay well like you're selling me a bunch of shit that i don't need you know yeah it, it's weird it's like you know that the stuff that's bad for you is probably going to like help you the most in the moment but it, it just hurts to know that those things are going to be your downfall in the end you know lately what's been what, what i've been seeing and this is because like you know, I'm, I'm kind of getting more and more back into fitness. Yeah. Um, I guess keeping up with bodybuilding and stuff. It, I've been keeping up with the news and a lot of the bodybuilders that were really, really good 10 years ago, 15 years ago, now look like shit or yeah. they're fucking almost dying, dude. <laughs> and it's fucking crazy. And then John from Bro Brand Podcast, the guy that I do the podcast with, like his, I, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it on this That'd last time, or, or I might have told you, yeah, like his script levels were so high, but he was like triple scooping in and shit and like, you know, mm. not eating the healthiest, uh, but yeah. also kind of relying a little bit heavy on the supplement side. But, you know, it's, mm. it's, it's almost like we really don't know the long term effects of uh, like just eyeballing supplementation you know and, and that's yeah. why i talk about a lot about the habit of just taking pre-workout uh, mm. versus needing pre-workout so yeah. because you know like like i'm telling you like i said last time sometimes the pre-workout doesn't have any caffeine but it's really like that the habit of all right i drink this and i go take it and then i go exercise 
yeah. that's kind of the I think that's much more valuable regardless of what the fuck you're taking than like mm -hmm. finding the right dosage you know what I'm saying yeah it, it's the liquid motivation to do it liquid motivation dude liquid courage <laughs> Yeah, dude. So you're not in the bro brain, bro. You're you're not in the bro palace. You're uh, no, I'm you're, like you're in a whole like new, that. you're in a whole new country over there. Yeah, yeah. Cause I had the vid, so I'm I'm plotting land, plotting land, and working on what I can. Yeah, but it it's weird. So I had the vid. I'm a I'm a COVID survivor now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What what was the first thing that helped you know that you you knew you were sick? I had an itchy. Oh, okay, so I passed out in the middle of the day. Yeah. Which I typically don't do. Mm -hmm. And I woke up with an itchy throat, and I was yeah. coughing like I was just feeling weak, like <laughs> you know, like I uh -huh. couldn't cough that hard. I was yeah. the, the the like the weakest cough of all time. Just <laughs> and it was very painful, yeah. dude. Huh? And I think I got in the sauna that night. Mm -hmm. Try to sweat it out. I woke up with yeah. a with the with the nine to nine fever, which <laughs> just a fucking degree over. But I was yeah. like, "Oh shit, dude, I'm fucking dying!" And I ended up going to oh because I technically have symptoms. Uh, mm -hmm. Or like I guess the fever is like the big deal one. I yeah. I went to take a test that day because I didn't mm -hmm. feel like shit, dude. I did feel like I was hungover, and yeah. I fucking wasn't. You know, mm -hmm. um, I went and I took my test, and dude, for like the next three days, I just stayed feeling hungover. Yeah, where it's like a weird dizziness feeling, and you're like. Like yeah, it was shitty, bro. I was fucking, dude. I was annoyed because I was like, every day I'm waking up, like I have a fucking hangover, and I'm not mm -hmm. drinking. And yeah. it was, it was fucking upsetting. Mm -hmm. I wasn't smoking that much weed either, because uh, I was like, okay, well, like, I wanted to give my throat a break. Yeah, so I was primarily doing edibles, if that, and. Yeah, I just felt like shit, dude. And I had fucking this diabolical cough that would just hurt, dude. And it was like uncontrollable. Yeah. And yeah, dude, that's it. I but but I stayed working out though. There was only one day that I only I think I rode the bike. So I'm doing this thing where I'm I'm trying to do a 10k. Yeah. And at the same time, bike a 10k, but hit a minimum of 200 calories a day. 10k is like seven miles, right? Yeah, some of that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to burn 200 calories in the process at least. Yeah. So typically, I that takes me around between 20 and 30 minutes. Typically, it's 30 minutes because I've been just fucking half assing it, dude. I'm tired, bro. It's, yeah. I'm on day mm -hmm. 20 of this bitch. So, the, but the day that I was sick, that Thursday that I had the fever, yeah. <clears throat> it took me. Like that was my goal for the day is to work out. Uh -huh. And it was like 7.30 when I finally hopped on the bike, dude. Cause I was just like, I'm so fucking exhausted. And yeah. I haven't fucking done shit. I haven't done anything. And I'm just fucking tired. So I got on the but bike. You're getting enough sleep though. You're getting enough sleep and still feeling tired. Well, I wasn't. That all oh, that was another thing. Like I wasn't sleeping good because the cough woke me up and and there was a couple of times that I would like wake up like, <gasps> like fucking gasping for air and shit because yeah. I was so stuffed. Yeah. Huh. So, so I was recovering at like, because you know I have a Whoop tracker, uh, which yeah. like I have an affiliate code for. You got a, a free month off if you use the link in all the bios. Um, the Whoop was saying that I was recovering under ten percent. And yeah. typically that happens whenever I drink or I go out, mm. you know, and it was fucking stupid, man. Like I was, you know, my recovery was shit for like three days. I wasn't really sleeping that well, but I was sleeping all day, you know, like I wasn't really doing anything. Uh, but that yeah. day that I had that fever, it took me like 45 minutes to burn 
the calories. Like, I just didn't have the fucking energy, man. It was tough. It was a tough workout. But it was dumb. I, I'm thinking now, because <clears throat> I was sick a little, like, a day or two before you were sick, right? <laughs> Maybe three days. Yeah. Yeah. But it was bad for me, because it was the whole feel a little weird, take a nap, wake up, and it's worse type feeling. Uh -huh. And then, like, I was coughing up this weird stuff, and the cough was bad. And I was like, I heard that the new COVID strain, the Om Omicron or whatever, it's like, COVID's like a body high, but the new one's like a mind high, apparently. Like, that's what they're what? describing the difference. Yeah. What? Like, the so new you're one you're saying that the, the Omarion is sativa of the COVIDs. Yeah. It's like, it's like, oh, mind, you're going to be dizzy. You're going to be like teleporting. Because I was teleporting and I was getting dizzy. And I was having a fever and I was like going in and out. It was so weird. Like, my concentration explain, wasn't explain good at all. teleporting. Like, I do one thing and just like, second later, I'd get a little dizzy and then I just turn around and like facing the other way. Or like, I do something and 10 seconds later, I'm doing something else. Like, like I you don't, don't realize? I'm, yeah, it's like, it's like I'm on autopilot, but I'm like, half feel like i'm hallucinating a little bit and i don't do anything so it's like it's like weird for me to feel this way because i was getting enough sleep i was getting like eight hours each night mm. so i'm thinking did i have it or do i have it or what was it what do you know about dmt um that you can hit it through a pen and then sometimes you know there's like shamans in downtown portland who will give you it you can oh hit really it. yeah and then it only lasts a couple of minutes but sometimes it can feel like years or lifetimes huh interesting yeah, so I, think, I don't know. Uh, you probably know more about it than me, honestly, because you know, like, or or maybe not. I don't know. But uh, I have this theory, dude. That yeah. you ever heard of the term "runner's high"? Yep. Yeah. I can't remember what it means though. Well, it's basically when you run for a long time, you basically feel high. Yeah. Right? And but that comes from your body releasing can like basically the endorphins the same as whenever yep. you smoke weed. It's like some mm -hmm. shit with like the cannabinoids or some of that endocannabinoids or some yeah. of that. I'm don't fucking call me on this because one hundred percent bro science. But the idea is that. Yeah, so the same. Whatever you produce whenever you smoke weed is the same whenever you run for a long time. Right. Which like it's basically you could have uh hallucinogen experiences and the key factor yeah. here is could because it doesn't always happen uh this is why it's a theory mm -hmm. but yeah there's this thing called breathing exercises that this dude named wim hoff he, he's the ice man he does and through this breathing exercises you release DMT oh yeah in that guy brain. yeah mm -hmm. so but like breathing exercises is something that's been happening for fucking forever. And some people have psychedelic experiences literally just by fucking sitting down and breathing. I've had a bunch of those. Well, not a bunch, but I've had a few whenever I smoke and I do breathing exercises or whenever I'm in the sauna, sometimes I fucking trip out, dude. But I think yeah. it has to do because the brain, my brain releases DMT. And I think that uh, whenever you run for a long time well your your brain doesn't get enough oxygen but you have ox you oxygenize your body so maybe like mm -hmm. there's some dnt releasing in the brain but because you're awake you yeah. just feel high you, it's weird you, um you ever hear that thing where if you um breathing in pure oxygen like isn't good for you or something something about that yeah no like, i never read that but but it's but something just, weird like that yeah but but let me let me just finish this point um and then because you're like you're not breathing enough right so then like like i said like dmt fucking poops in your brain so what i was thinking was maybe that because you're fucking stuffed up and you're not really breathing that much maybe your fucking brain feels that it's dying so maybe it's like sprinkling dmt throughout the day which causes you to maybe like trip out a little bit like teleporting or whatnot i don't know i'm, I'm gonna break off that point you're saying your body's doing it to like keep you alive and keep you going I think mm. that when you're sick, you, your body's using so much energy trying to heal that you've depleted your sources. And then if you go and try to do stuff further and exercise or work or stay awake or do all the strenuous stuff, your body has to like push out all that, uh, all the endorphins and all the things that just keep you going. It's weird. Uh, adrenaline. Yeah. It's like your body's pushing out a bunch of adrenaline. Like there's an adrenaline high. So maybe your body's just releasing all that to keep you going because you don't know it, but you're way past your limits. 
Could be, dude. Adrenaline is super interesting, man. Cause like but it's all bro science. So well, yeah. I mean, dude, like all of it is bro science. So like, yeah. One this... thing. One thing. Uh, what? What is it? Um, I don't know. One of the things they're saying has to be right. At least. One. Well, well, dude. Fucking think about it. Everything is bro science, and I think bro science is just the most beautiful art of all time because, yeah, you know, you, the intent is just to be less wrong mm-hmm. like it's not really to be right all the fucking time but it's just to be less wrong because mm-hmm. you're not doing shit is not gonna is you're not even gonna be close to being right if you don't fucking do anything but if you do something yeah. or you try something or you're open to something then you're that much closer to being right but you may not really ever be right because what the fuck does actually being right at even mean it's but like the if you ask a question like, in class, you raise your hand, you shoot your best guess, that's bro science. Yeah, dude. Right, <laughs> because you know, what if it's right? You know, what yeah. if it's right? And then you're like, and you, and you get a fucking sleep early or some shit. You know? I, I do have one way to settle whether or not I have COVID, though, or did, or I did. What's up? I have a couple of tests downstairs. So I might bring one up into a test real quick. Okay. All right. Yeah. You want to do yeah. it now? I might. Like, I'm going to go grab it. I'm going to go grab it. All right. All right. So basically, I ended up taking the test and it took five fucking days for a test to come back. It was supposed to take two to three days. But, you know, apparently the testing machines only work Monday through Friday. So the tests were they weren't able to do it because my test is on Thursday. You know, you have Thursday, Friday. And then Monday, however, I did get my results back at three in the morning. A little bit weird, but it worked. I mean, I ended up coming positive. I was very sad. My, I was supposed to see my mom this weekend. Not happening. Dude, so where did you get these tests? I think uh, I think we picked them up at Walgreens. I think they're like $10 each. It's the at-home tests. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. What do you what so it's do you the mean, like, so I think that means it tests if your body's like already had it and it's fighting it off to test for the okay. antibodies. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. uh, you know, same day picked up some of these, you know, you know the whoopee. Damn, dude. They're nice. so good. That's your favorite candy? Right, no, no, my favorite's uh, the tamarind pulp one where it's just like the pits and the ground up stuff. You know what okay. I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Have some what it? What type of test is that? Is it uh? Do you have to like stick it in your nose? Oh, I'm probably gonna have to stick it on my nose. Yeah, those feel cool, man. It's like you touch your brain a little bit. You may <laughs> nothing makes you feel more present in life than taking a fucking COVID test, dude. Like <laughs> I know that's why I'm always afraid to take it because it's you know, it's the uh, Schroden- Schrodinger thing. You know the whole. You put a cat in a box with like a poisonous gas, and there's a 50 50 chance of the cat living or dying, but you don't know until you open the box. So the cat's like, in theory, alive and dead at the same time. You just don't know until you do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So guess what, dude? Uh, I had a friend yeah. in town this weekend that uh, is a professional drone racer. Professional what? drone racer oh yeah i love the videos they do dude this guy's a beast man he does like a lot of the he fucking chases like high or action like extreme sports vehicles so yeah. like shit in the water or like cars stuff like that RCs. Gosh, Very curious on this. Everything from China. What? You know how all you know how all the masks nowadays are from China and they come with a little Chinese little stamp and stuff. Same thing with the COVID test. It's so weird. What if they're rigged? I know. I've been thinking that for so long. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna wash my hands. It says to wash my hands. So. All right. All right. Yeah. So since I got sick. Um, I haven't seen Noah. He was actually supposed to be in the house today. We're supposed to podcast face to face, but the vid got to me finally. So I've been 
keeping distance, doing shit virtually, trying to adapt this new climate. And uh, luckily it's working so far. No technical difficulties, uh, but definitely getting, doing the best that we can. What's up, man? You ready? I'm ready. I'm reading the directions. They're a little, little heavy. So I'm going to work through this the best I can. Okay. Move the foil from the top and the extraction to the COVID tests are like a hot commodity, man. I've been looking for those and I haven't been able to find any. Well, it's weird. There's so many different types and, you know, I consider them bro science technically. Cause you know, half the time they're wrong, half the time they're right. You can't <laughs> tell depending on what time you do it. So you don't know. So the ones that I saw were 150 bucks, but they were sold out. So when you said 10 like- bucks, I was like, holy shit, dude. Does a rapid test for the detection of SARS-CoV-2 antigens in the anterior nasal specimens for self-testing use? Blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see. So, remove the top foil from the top of the extraction tube. This is Put exciting. This, this is some great footage. Make sure that uh, if you are not following the visual experience, that you do so. Let me see if I can pivot here. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Should be, you know. Yeah, we can see it. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Punch the perforated thing. So I did that. I put this in here. Take the Uh foil off. This tube in the tube holder for 25. Number three, open the swab in the packaging. It's this swab. Okay. I have to stick in. Do not swab and not touch swab head gently insert all right looks like you looks like we're doing it gently Dude, insert the entire awesome. absorbent tip of the swab head into the nostril one half of an inch to three quarters of an inch um they need to have some false negative result may occur if the nasal swab specimen is not properly collected weird what's up yeah. It says like if you do it wrong, it will probably it could be a false negative. Oh wait, uh, I thought it said false positive. That would be so much weirder. Okay. It would be so much weirder, yeah. Firmly rub the inside of your nose and insert your motion on the inside of the wall. Are these instructions in Chinese? No. I bet you they were probably weird. I don't know. I don't know. This could it's, be a Chinese. That's interesting, company. dude. So there is a Chinese package, but it, they only have the instructions in English. Well, this thing was made in China, so okay, insert okay, this in here. But we can't see Half it, dude. an inch, three quarters of an inch. Let me just... the thing. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> just tickle your brain, dude. That's how you do it. Oh. Remove the swab from the nostril and immediately place into the extraction buffer tube. I hope you threw it away. That'll be hilarious. Swap from the nose and immediately place in the extraction <laughs> buffer tube. Add tube. All right. All right. Uh, immediately place in the tube and swirl for 30 seconds. Okay. Okay. Intense, dude. Taking it out now. Taking it out now. Okay. Rotate the swab five times while squeezing the tube. Remove the swab while squeezing the tube. Dispose the swab in the trash. Oh, it's stringy. (laughs) It's your brain, bro. I had one of these down on a drive through a long time ago. They shoved it so far up my nose. Attach the dropper yeah. tip firmly onto the tube. All right. Externally by swirling, flicking the bottom of the tube. All right. Number 11. Time to open this bad boy up. Oh 
right. So I guess I took the sample from my nose. I put it into the little thing to disperse it onto the actual test. Okay. So basically, you made this like a cement paste, but parts yeah. of your brain and and mucus. Into the sample wall. And now you're gonna pour it on like a little tray, right? And if it turns like a yeah, it's like little... those little at home candy sushi making. It's like a pregnancy test. For my nose, yeah. Oh, oh, oh dude. Nice. All right. Um, How long do you wait? the timer for 15 minutes. Okay. So I see it moving, though. I see it moving. I, I can't it's see like it. a little snail race. This stuff's, like, <laughs> going crazy. So I think that'll be our... Um, that's how we're going to end the show then whenever we find out your results. All right. I'm setting the timer yeah. now. Let me look at the clock. Yeah. 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 I want to make sure we're right on the mark here. Yeah, dude. Boom. It's exciting, okay. man. It's exciting. All right. Now I guess, uh, Oh, close one. Don't accidentally touch it. So what happens All if right. you do have it? What happens if you do have it? I guess I get a vacation. Okay. But that's the thing. I was, I don't know, because it's kind of hard if I'm working two restaurant jobs at the same time. I'm like, sorry, guys, it's my first week. Uh, I got to take a two week. But you have you know, the break. vid, though, dude. You have the vid. But this is the antigen test, which means I would have had it because I was sick a week and a half ago. That's true. That's true. Because it could be in the phase where I still test positive, but I don't have any symptoms. So I guess you, you don't. I don't know. I'm not gonna fucking speak on it, dude. I I am not have not been keeping up with the information. I just I just trust my wife, I guess, at this point, and whatever she says, I do. I do the same thing. <laughs> I mean, if I had a wife, I'd trust what she's saying. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if I'm gonna blindly believe anybody, it's gonna be her because she's a yeah. trained professional. Not just because you know. I think she has my best interest because just because she's a trained professional, but <laughs> yeah, that's exciting, man. Are you excited? This is exciting. I'm seeing lines show up. What does that mean? So basically, like, what's the next step? Well, besides waiting, it's looking at the lines. So uh -huh. for this test specifically, it's the um, there's a C and a T line here and a line here. So if it's just the line at the top, it's a negative. But if it's the line at the top and any bit of a line at the bottom, then it's positive. Okay. And it's invalid if it's just the line at the bottom. So you need the okay. top, but having the bottom is bad. Gotcha, having only gotcha. the bottom means you did it wrong. Okay. Do you work out or are you like a person that works out when you're sick? I love doing it, but just because of the fact, it's like if I'm normally working out and it's in my routine, yeah, I'll work out when I'm sick. Yeah. But if it's like bad, bad, because you have a home gym. If I had a home gym, I'd work out when I was sick all the time. But like having to put in the thing to go and get ready and drive to a place and risk getting other people sick. Eh. Yeah, it's interesting, dude. That's something that uh, I've actually never considered until now. So I back in the day, I mean, like you said, now it's different, right? Because like I have the whole gym to myself. Yeah. But back in the day. I, I mean, I only did it a couple of times because I, I typically don't get sick that often, but um, I remember just feeling sick. And then I, also, I don't really know what being sick really means because, like, we worked, and when I was in the military, we worked all the fucking time, whether you, you're sick or not. You know, like, yeah. very rarely people get sent home because they have the flu or whatever. It's like... Mm -hmm. If, if you can't come to work, then you better be dying. Like, mm -hmm. you basically have to go to the hospital. That's kind of how it went, you know? So, uh, we always used to work. So, there was days, like, for example, weekends or, or days that I was technically off. I just felt like ass, and like stuffy nose or runny nose. I would just go to the gym, dude. Like, put on the fucking yeah. hoodie and a long sleeve. Mm -hmm. Take some fat burners and just go hit the cardio machines sweat it all out you know and i did that for a long time man like but i guess this year was probably the only year that i didn't do it you know but i, I still worked out but 
How do fat burners work specifically? I think, and I don't know, but I mm-hmm. think that, that because they have uh, like cayenne pepper and shit in them, like different yeah. types of like pepper seeds and, and like and caffeine. Well, ca- caffeine is a thermogenic. I think it's because like it increases your heart rate, which increases your body temperature. And then the same thing with like uh, just fucking eat, eat spicy food, bro. You need to start sweating and shit. Like your body temperature rises. So that's kind of what, like why they have that. Like you sweat a lot more because your body temperature does go up. Um, but you don't get it's not like you get a fucking fever or some shit. Mm. Also, caffeine is for the most part a meal suppressant. A lot of the yeah. roots that are typically in a fat burner are a meal suppressant. So, mm. like, you just don't get as hungry. That's fr- primarily why the fucking fat burners technically work because you don't pig out yeah. as much, you know? But there's still possibility <laughs> of pigging out if you choose yeah. to. Yeah. They're fucking dangerous, dude. The fat burners, it's like, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. Like I, I, I would much rather see people do just ca- coffee or some type of, like pure raw caffeine, but yeah, you know people get obsessed because they're fucking called fat burners that mm-hmm. they take it they take it alongside their pre workout, you know, yeah. fucking dude. Yeah, I've seen it all the time. Like, you know, people think that they're like taking it to the next level or doing a little bit more, what they'll do is they'll get up on the empty stomach, take a fucking fat burner, go to the gym, yeah. drink the pre-workout and get the workout in. And then, you oh. know, like a few hours later, because, you know, if you read the fucking fat burner supplement instructions, typically they recommend to do a couple of dosages, you know, but there's yeah. caffeine typically in every single capsule. So, and we're talking about 75 milligrams of caffeine per capsule on average. Mm-hmm. Well, if you're taking four of those, it's 300 milligrams of caffeine every fucking day. And, and then, you know, a lot of people who don't shift their nutrition or meaning or caffeine intake whenever they start taking fat burners, they just add it on to their habit already. So yeah. <clears throat> this leads to a lot of just overconsumption of caffeine. <clears throat> oh, and something uh, else. Yeah, dude, but like, you know, you don't eat as much, you always, but at the same time, like, if you overdo it, you just feel like shit all the time. Yeah. So, like, that's kind of how they work. But mm-hmm. I personally don't recommend them. I don't think, I mean, they're, they have their purpose and they have their place, but yeah, the everyday person doesn't fucking eat that shit. On my, on my quest for caffeine, because it was such a big thing for me, especially during school. I went through so many different energy drinks and it's like some taste nice, but the ones that taste bad have the best caffeine in them the most. And it's, it's like, what, it's a what you, which ones are you go to? Well, I don't know. Red Bull. I don't like, I don't like the size of the can. It's too expensive and it doesn't have enough caffeine. Uh, monster flavors are a little weird. You can always taste the taurine in it, which is like yeah. their main caffeine thing. Um, I like Nas. Nas tastes nice. The caffeine's not too high. It's not too low. And it's not too expensive. Because I think it's maybe like two dollars a can at most for most places you go to. Sometimes mm-hmm. I think I picked it up for a dollar a can one time I was lucky. And then at this uh, QFC, which is part of the Kroger chain, so it's like a Fred Meyer's or a Fry's, they had this cool drink called Wired. It's like Wired X and Wired. It was like three hundred and eighty-five milligrams of protein for a dollar. Three hundred milligrams of caffeine, you mean? Yeah, three hundred and eighty-five. Damn, dude, that's fucking crazy. That's a lot, dude. I know it's a good amount for a dollar. It is a good amount for a dollar. Holy shit! It's like You're right. It's like beating. It's like beating caffeine levels on some pre workouts while still beating the cost per serving. Um, yeah, yeah. Because typically the cost per serving pre workout is anywhere between one twenty five ish. Yeah. Two bucks. Yeah. Or something's a little bit higher than that. But probably over below two fifty per milligram of caffeine or per gram, yeah, per serving. So yeah, no, dude, yeah. you're right. It's pretty cheap. That's a lot, man, for a fucking per- like for just a, I know. like just just to sip on that. It's too much. I think that's mm-hmm. way too much. My favorite was yeah, sometimes just- I, I love the orange monster. Yeah. Yeah, dude. 
It's pretty douchey. I, I, I don't know. It's weird. I, I tried a lot of the monsters, and I think I tried that one. Because I think the can was the coolest part of it, so that's why I grabbed it. Yeah. But they're good at changing out the flavors. Yeah. Um, I also like, they have one that's like a, the re, no, not, not the rehab, but it's one that's like, that has mango juice. It was like pineapple mango or something. Is it like that. the tea one? No, no, no. It's blue. It's blue and orange. It's like neon blue and oh. orange. Yeah. Yeah. It's like tropical. I think it's like some Hawaii shit, but it's like pineapple mango, orange, some of that. It's pretty good. It's pretty tasty. That one has a shitload of calories, though. I was I was upset. I thought it was a calorie free one because, you know, the orange one, it's my favorite. And I think it tastes like very similar to like orange soda, which is my yeah. favorite type of soda. And I was, dude, I was hyped, man. But then I threw it away and it was like 78 grams of carbs. I was like, fuck. I was so <laughs> upset, dude. I was so upset. It's so, crazy the amount of calories in some things. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's fucked up. I, I, I just feel like, well, rule of thumb that I've used for years, it's never drink uh, calories. Yeah. Like, I, I stay away. Anything that's calorie drinks, well, every now and then I'll have, like, an actual, like, a soda, but very, very rarely. Um, But, like, I wouldn't do... Like any type of juice, I've never I wouldn't I wouldn't juice. Like I don't I don't really do milk or any of that shit. Most juices so, nowadays are made with sugar though anyway, so it's kind of best to avoid them unless you get like the right ones. Yeah, fuck yeah. No, I absolutely yeah. like I guess kombucha has calories, but it's it really it's probiotics, it's kinda of worth it. Yeah, it's super worth it. I love kombucha. It, it it's weird because you know you're not just you have to watch so much stuff when you're trying to watch you have to watch the calories the carbs and then the sodium sodium's crazy i think it's a myth dude Mm -hmm. i think it's a myth like sodium yeah i feel like in my opinion my experience so i never count sodium um or like watch sodium yeah but i drink a shit a lot of water i think it has to do with like your hydration and i don't remember where the fuck i heard it but i know like saw has electrolytes and like yeah if something is off then this is not really because you have too many electrolytes it's because you don't have enough water in the mm-hmm. electrolytes so as long as you you stay hydrated then high into high levels of salt is i want to say like beneficial yeah. but it is not it, it doesn't fucking hurt Cause you'll piss a lot of it's shit out anyway. Because most salt has sodium, but not all salt has electrolytes. Some are yeah, like too right, purified. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you could piss all that shit out if you drink enough water. So, like yeah. the myth, the myth of like you know people saying that oh, whenever you you're you have you consume too much salt, that your fingers yeah. swell up. That's bullshit. It's because mm-hmm. you're dehydrated. It's not salt. Yeah. It's you just don't have the right hydration levels. Mm-hmm. So having a higher level of hydration levels like flushes all the extra water out because your body is constantly used to intaking water, so you never hold on to water. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes a little bit of sense. It's the same show with fat, in my opinion. I mean, again, yeah, you know, in my opinion, like if you're if you eat less, you mm-hmm. hold on to fat. If you eat more and you work yeah. out more, then your body is gonna get used to burning the fuel that you mm-hmm. intake to your body and burning any extra fuel because you're always yeah. going to be burning calories the same sh- in my opinion the same shit with salt yeah yeah because your body knows that you're needing it but you're not getting enough and it doesn't know when the next time you're going to get it is right so it uh starts storing it that's the weird thing because you know humans are like hungry all the time you know that and it's like it's kind of hard for them to limit out when they should stop eating because they like eat all of it way past the point of being full yeah. Because you're always hungry. Because it's like nowadays we have food so readily available that your body wasn't really made for it. Because your body was made for like always needing food and eating it when you can get it. But now that it's so available, you just overdo it. <clears throat> yeah, dude. That's where the disciplines come in, man. That's yeah. why the gym bro, the, the gym bro lifestyle is the blueprint of success, man. Because it teaches mm-hmm. you discipline. You can't fucking have everything all the time. Like, I had to learn that. The hard way, because, you know, when, when I first I remember having the most successful month I've ever had in my life and meaning that I didn't do shit and I made the most money that I made. So like in a month at the time. Mm-hmm. 
well, dude, like I didn't have wake up time. I didn't have sleep time. I didn't have any type of eating restrictions. I didn't have any fitness goals because it's not like I was in the military. Yeah. My fucking wife, like she met me when I was fat. So it's not like she wants me to look a specific way. Yeah. And dude, I was eating whatever the fuck I wanted, whenever the fuck I wanted, as much as I wanted. Mm-hmm. It, it it was probably it like fucked me up dude because I didn't have any restrictions you know what I'm saying like yeah to the point that in the past at least when I had to go to work well like I was busy even though I was like working I was actually working you know I was at work I wasn't fucking at home with yeah. like a pantry full of food uh, I was mm-hmm. away from like me eating whatever the fuck I want whenever the fuck I wanted so. Uh, having all that like the freedom of eating whatever the fuck I wanted and like willingly choosing not to do it that's something that I, I just have to tap into but uh, bodybuilding gave me that blueprint gave me that foundation you know yeah. and this is the mm-hmm. same thing in other areas of life when like you don't buy everything just because it's on sale or you don't buy everything that you could afford because if that were the mm-hmm. case like we'll all be broke all the time Yeah, you know what I'm saying like just because you could afford doesn't mean that you should buy it yeah you know i mean it, what if you don't... works in weird ways it's huh? too addicting to buy stuff and overeat it's it weird. is it is but it's also rewarding if you buy the right shit it's also yeah. rewarding if you eat the right foods mm-hmm. so it's kind of like what game do you want to play you know yeah you know do you want to avoid cravings and fucking F- like feeling everything uh mm-hmm. you know like satisfying every single craving you ever get ever or would you rather feel good about the things that you do the things that you consume and have a yeah. little bit of pride you know in your in your choices in your actions it's just like it's just what game do you want to play yeah. it's the same shit it's the blueprint the bro print so it's been uh, around 15 and a half minutes. There's one yeah. thing, even if it said not positive, I don't know if the old tests work for the new version of the virus. Uh, but so far it came up negative. So you never had so it? We... No, it says negative. So I guess I wasn't positive or I guess I didn't have the normal COVID-19. But you had some. But I don't know. Yeah. I had something crazy. Well, dude, good for you, man. Good for you, bro. I'm I'm glad that like you didn't get the vid. I mean, you can't claim the hashtag survivor like I can, but um, <laughs> but you know, it's 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 a good thing. It's a good thing that uh that you didn't get it. I hope you don't get it, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I don't have it. But you know, I wonder what I had. I wonder what I had. You probably had the fucking flu. You may be right on that. I don't know. Did you I, get the flu shot this when year? When I get sick, I get sick bad. So it could have been the flu. Did you get your flu shot this year? No. I don't think I yeah, did. Yeah, see? I bet you that's what it was. Could be. So I didn't get my flu oh, shot I'm, either. I'm, and I think that's what fucked me up. Yeah. Because I've been getting it. So I, I never got it as a kid. But I've been fucking getting it mm-hmm. every year because of the military. And then this year was the mm-hmm. first year I just didn't get it. Cause yeah. I forgot. But yeah, dude. That could be it. That's what my wife was saying. She's like, hey, maybe you got the flu. She didn't get sick. We've been she didn't? spit. No fuck no. She didn't. <laughs> so I don't know. Weird. Well, dude, thank you for sharing the um Yeah the experience with us and hopefully next mm-hmm. week you'll be back in the studio. Oh, I'm hoping for that too. I'm hoping for that too. Yeah, man. Yeah. It'll be exciting. It'll be exciting to be in person. Yeah. This was for everybody that's listening or watching. Uh, this is actually a, uh, a test, a, a test episode, you know, obviously like the topics were a little all over the place, but it's because this is a shorter episode. So, Mm-hmm. You, you get a little bit this is, dude I had COVID you know COVID fucked everything up they have yeah. COVID everything would have been the same so 
if uh, you you feel a little disappointed, I blame COVID. Don't blame us. So we'll catch you next time, everybody. Yep. Peace.